Okay, some of the factors affecting fuel economy are not under your control, but many of them are. So when you're getting ready to take out a load, there are some things you can control to maximize fuel economy. Here's Jason Owens, a Cummins Technical Support Manager. Jason helps fleet managers and operators just like you to get the best out of their engines. In this training, Jason is going to show you ways to improve fuel economy, illustrate how some of the fuel saving features of a Cummins engine work, and dispel some old myths that don't apply to today's diesel engines. Jason knows that one way to increase fuel economy involves the trailer gap. When you minimize the trailer gap, you reduce drag from crosswinds and turbulent air. A good rule of thumb is that by reducing your trailer gap 10 inches, you can increase your fuel economy by 1%. Minimize the trailer gap and save a percentage point on fuel economy. That single percentage point can mean $600 a year in fuel. How about tire pressure? Running tires at 10 PSI under pressure can cost you a percentage point in fuel economy due to increased rolling resistance. Another percentage in fuel economy? Another $600 a year. Time for a knowledge check. Which trailer gap gets you better fuel economy, 30 inches or 40 inches? Reducing the trailer gap by 10 inches improves fuel economy by 1%. Now remember, that's $600 a year. Here's another question. Does running on tires that are underinflated increase fuel economy or decrease it? Running on tires that are underinflated hurts fuel economy. For example, tires that are 10 psi underinflated decrease fuel mileage by 1%. So check your tire pressure regularly. <laughs> 